I don't think there's fundamental distinguish uh, distinguishing uh, that 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 is 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 required. I mean the uh, um, the Thai forest tradition it is it does not have a rigorous foundation in in Bariati. Uh, and uh, they can be uh, quite uh, uh, quite loose, um, and uh, um, so it, it's it's it, it's uh, it's much more of a an experiential um, tradition um, that. Uh, sometimes defines things according to the text and sometimes doesn't. Um, and it's, and, and certainly, uh, and it depends. I mean, and, and it isn't as if there's just one high force tradition. I mean, it, it, it gets tossed around as, a, as if it's something coherent and it's, and it's uh, uh, I can assure you it's anything but coherent. And, and certainly, Ajahn Suchat, as a disciple of Ajahn Mahabua, uh, then uh, you know, they have uh, tend to have um, certain usages that are idiosyncratic uh, to them. In the same way that, say, like Ajahn Sumedho has a very idiosyncratic way of talking about consciousness. Um, and uh, and sim so the use of the word jitta in in say in uh, Ajahn Mahabua and the, the 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 say the Thai forest tradition lineage of say Ajahn Man in in, in the northern Isan areas uh, uh, tends to be um, uh, talking about it in you know, jitta consciousness. Uh, and uh, and it's uh, it, it, it kind of bleeds into each other, uh, and and probably, and I haven't heard it talked about as a as an element, um, say the jitta as an element, but uh, it, it, it fits a pattern, um, so that that. Uh, that that say it, but I think it's it, I think it's just sort of to to recognize that that oftentimes uh, the uh, again the Thai forest teachers uh, tend not to be uh, rigorous in their their use of um, you know, scriptural terminology and. Which is, I mean, it's 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 just what it is. It's not, not good or bad. It's just you have to just sort of uh, uh, recognize that. And then, well, what are they pointing to? Because they're 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 obviously pointing to something that they have experienced uh, and they feel is really important and essential. When you think about it like that, what is the result? Thinking about it with doubt uh, has one result, and, and thinking about it with, you know, I, I, so it, it's just sort of, you know, it isn't about getting it, say, right in terms of I got the right definition. Finally, I got it right. It's more like, what is it that helps the heart to, to let go, to relinquish, to uh, to dwell in a place of, say, of of, of non-becoming. Um, that's a. You see, these are we need. We need to use these as tools, um, rather than as um, kind of a, as as solid things that we have to either understand or get or become uh, so it, it's much more around what how do how do we use these different teachings in a way that that leads us to a place of of uh, i mean i think one of the things just sort of thinking in terms of the 
So like the Anapanasati Sutta, you know, we use mindfulness of breathing so that it takes us to a place of, of experiencing impermanence, dispassion, cessation, relinquishment. Uh, and and that's it's a tool that we use uh, that that carries us to a place of 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 of, of peace of, of clarity of 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 understanding well-being. 